Holder upheld during his administration. There was such narrow-mindedness and hypocrisy. She says she's proud to have established a strong voice for moderate Republicans. My greatest achievement is raising two independent and motivated young women who share the same values and will hopefully continue a legacy I've just begun. Ladies and gentlemen, please congratulate another one of our 21 leaders, Jennifer Stockman. Thank you very much. I think I'm number 20, only one more to go. Um, I, no less important, the, you know, the bottom five, everybody. <laughs> this has been such an inspirational evening, and the women and gentlemen I've met tonight have just um, I, humbled me. Um, I feel so blessed to be given so much in life that I feel it's a duty, but more important, an honor to be able to give back to causes and organizations I believe so much in. And the Republican Majority for Choice is one of those organizations. Um, there, I get so much inspiration from my husband, um, who is with me tonight, and all, of course, my two daughters, and all my friends who came out to support me, which I'm so grateful you did that. And each one of you could be uh, honoree tonight. I am convinced of that. Um, but most importantly, I'd like to thank and recognize Kelly Rose Ferguson, who is the executive director of the Republican Majority for Choice, and she does the heavy lifting. And our battle continues, not just in the Republican Party, but in the Democrat, Democratic Party as well. You saw how the Democrats turned their back on women's issues in this last health care.